My name is Tommy Jensen and I'm working as a software developer in a company called TVPS. TVPS is a Norwegian company founded in 2004 and it's a company that's making products for the professional broadcast industry. TVPS pioneered JPEG 2000 for use in professional contribution. Uh, I'm now going to go through a demonstration of the CP525 product, which is a multiplexer that's very flexible for use in uh, for regional adaptation. A typical use for the CP525 is here in a terrestrial network where it's used to do regional adaptation of content to be uh, done for a particular region. That includes rebranding of service names, uh, insertion of local programs, and other things. I will now just take up the user interface to see how easy it is to use this product for that particular purpose. This is showing the user interface for the CP525. It's entirely web-based control and it's very easy to set up by selecting services from available inputs and dragging them over to the right where you actually build up your service content package for that particular region. By clicking on the tab here you can easily see the list of services that are now transmitted for this region. So that might typically be a, a service that's local, local program or a local advertisement for any need. The content to be inserted locally is typically local news or local sports. Content that typically has not interest in the local population around for that region. When, when you are doing local insertions like this, there are several pitfalls that can be avoided by using a CP525. The, the unit has built in several QoS mechanisms for, to protect the output signal in case of different error situations. One of these uh, situations is the uh, event where the, one of the input signals are lost. We can see that by going into... Here. This screen shows the user interface where a 525 is receiving two signals here on two different 7310 or ASI inputs. And the input switch, has, uh, there's a switch here that can automatically select the next input in case the first one goes down. It means that even if you have an error in front of this product, the end user will not notice the error. So that's improving the quality of service uh, in the output signal. Another thing that can happen in a regional remultiplexer is that you overload the output because you are taking uh, services from several inputs and you're going to, uh, they are going to be multiplexed in an output with a limited bitrate. So what happens if you get an overflow in such a unit? Uh, the CP525 supports a flexible priority scheme where you can assign different priority to the different input services. It means that if one of the inputs is uh, exceeding the uh, bandwidth that you expect it to have, it will only affect that service and not the entire multiplex. So that's also an important part of the QoS mechanisms in the CP525 regional remultiplexer. So that's where the screen uh, is showing here. Here you see the different uh, bit rates. You can also assign the maximum bit rate to a group of components and also to a single service. Thank you, and more information on this product can be found on www.tvips.com.